Hey everybody, so in this video we are going to be representing quadratics in various forms. So they give us this quadratic equation in standard form and they would like for us to express it in vertex form, factored form, and then illustrate this on a graph. So let's get started. Here we have it in standard form. So this is the traditional ax squared plus bx plus c that you may have already seen. Vertex form follows a little bit different format. It looks like this. So we have y equals ax minus h quantity squared plus k. Okay, so this is your vertex form. h and k is the vertex of the parabola. A is the leading coefficient. So it's really nice when you're going from standard to vertex form, this A is the exact same thing as the leading coefficient. So here, since this has a leading coefficient of one, this A is also going to be one. So we can go ahead and start by saying one times X minus H squared plus K. Now, H and K, this is the vertice. So H is the X value of the center of the parabola. So the easiest way to find H here, since H is the X value of the center of the parabola, is to use our axis of symmetry formula. So here, that is X equals negative B all over 2A. This is going to give you the X value. So B and A are going to come from this right here, your standard form. So I have negative B, so this is going to be negative negative 8. And this is all going to be over 2 times A. So what I have now is 8 over 2, which is 4. So this H is going to be four. So right now, if I rewrote it, I have one X minus four quantity squared plus K. Okay, now in order to find the value of K, I'm going to take this number four that I got from here and I'm gonna plug it into this equation. So here, that would give us four squared minus eight times four plus 15. So four squared we know is 16. 16 minus 32 is just gonna be negative 16. And then plus 15 is going to give us negative one. So K here is going to be negative one. So if I express this in vertex form, I have Y equals one x minus 4 squared minus 1. So that's how it would look if I went from standard form to vertex form. So I have x squared minus 8x plus 15. So here they want you to factor this. So when I factor, I have two sets of parentheses. And now I look at the first term and I say, okay, what two terms could I multiply together and get x squared? And that would be x times x will give you x squared. And now I look at the last number, positive 15. So I need to think, okay, I need two numbers that when I multiply them together, I get positive 15. And when I add them together, I will get negative 8. So what two numbers could I multiply together and get positive 15? But when I add those numbers, I get negative eight. And that would be negative five and negative three. So here my factors are x minus five and x minus three. Now they want us to plot this quadratic. So the easiest way to plot is to use the vertex form to plot your vertex. So here, we got four as our x value and negative one as our y value. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go over four and down one. So there's my vertex. 
And then I have zeros at five and three. So when you're given the factors, the way you find the zeros is you set each factor equal to zero. So this would be x minus five equals zero and x minus three equals zero. And when I solve, I get x equals five and x equals three. These are zeros, which means that's where the parabola is going to cross the x-axis. So I cross at five and I cross at three. So here, my parabola is going to look something like this. So here we just expressed a quadratic in various forms. We have it in standard form, vertex form, factored form, and we illustrated that quadratic as a graph. That's gonna be all for this example. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.